and welcome back to Tips and Tricks, where I try to provide you at least some useful information in two minutes or less. We've been talking about the uh, problematic patient, so let me share with you kind of my big three red flags that I have for patients. And the first one really is when the patient comes in and they have provisional. So somebody obviously started that work and the patient decided they didn't want to have that doctor finish that work. So is it the doctor's fault, the patient's fault? And if they don't provide me the name of the doctor that started the work, then I won't treat the patient because I want to know the doctor's side of the story. And usually there's two sides of every story. Okay, so that's one of my first red flags. The second one really is when I have a patient come in that can't speak English and I only speak English. And so really uh, it's difficult to communicate. And, uh, if you're going to have one that, uh, if you're going to have a patient that doesn't speak English, you need to make sure that you have a good interpreter, and you need to make sure that you have the same interpreter for every meeting, because it's very confusing when you have an interpreter that isn't really that great. Number one, and if they have a different interpreter come in at every every meeting with more, especially more complicated and complex cases, it, it makes it impossible, and you waste so much time. Quite frankly, if I'm going to be dealing with patients. With interpreters, I'm going to charge you more money because I know it's going to take more time anyway. And really, the third one is patients that come in and they just start t going on and on, telling about all the dentists that they've been to. And oftentimes, it's a TMD-related problem or a you know, occlusal problem, and you know doctors have ground and done things and they d haven't gotten satisfied, or sometimes it's an aesthetic problem. And so again, I want to know the names of all the doctors. And uh, I also, uh, in those patients, I give them what I call the 10, uh, the, the 10 to 15 minute rule. Usually they go on and on sometimes and I, give them, I let them talk. I'm a good listener and I think that's important. But after about, uh, you know, 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes, I just have to stop them. Okay, so these are my big three red flags. Be careful uh, dealing with those once in a while problematic patients and identifying them is really important for your insanity and certainly for your bottom line. Okay, thank you very much.